Well, I can make a citizen's arrest. She's invoking her fundamental hey, rights. Sir, she can invoke all the rights she wants, but if she fails to identify Whoa. herself or provide identification, we're going to take her out the car and take her to jail. Welcome back to the Van Balian channel guys. Today we head to Greenbrier, Tennessee, where a sovereign citizen passenger turns a window tint violation into a complete circus, making the situation 10 times worse for the female driver. And yes, he did just threaten to arrest a cop. Right, let's get into the video. Are you aware of your constitution? Yeah. Did you just swore to uphold? Yeah. You are? Yes, sir. Can you get your supervisor out here, please? Uh, yeah, sure. You do understand that you were, you were, uh, that, that we were not operating in commerce? Yeah, she, y'all were driving on a public road, frequently. Wait, we have the right, we have our God given right by, 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 by the, by the Constitution. And, no, we don't answer questions. Oh, and she's invoking her her fundamental okay, rights. Well, to... she's been uh, she was operating a motor vehicle, sir, and therefore she will give me her license registration. Do you plan to accost her for invoke? She's invoking her fundamental hey, rights. Sir, she can invoke all the rights she wants, but if she fails to identify Whoa. herself or provide identification, we're going to take her out the car and take her to jail. Also, how about you let the lady speak for herself, if she's allowed to voice her opinion in front of you, that is, before you get her removed from the vehicle and placed in a pair of silver bracelets. That's, you can't do that. Yes, we can. You're no, you can't. Law to you're, you're not required by law. You are not. Are you going to provide identification for us? Get, 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 your, get, your, get your supervisor out here. Get your supervisor out here. You're not holding this traffic stop because you keep I am. Hey, hey, you can't take me, Joe. Tennessee Criminal Code 39-16-602 says different, my friend. Chevy, stop. You, you guys, we're, we're gonna, you guys are going to hear about this. All right. I don't understand. That's fine. Can you keep your hands where I can see them? My hands are where, hey, you, don't worry about me. No, I am worried about you. Keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> you, you're breaking so many laws right now. Says the guy who is encouraging the driver to violate Tennessee code 55-50-351. You know, a real law in black and white you can point to instead of a law made up in that thing he calls a brain. Do you guys have your, do you have, do you have, do you, do you have your, do you have your uh, body cameras on please? Yes, sir. You're, yes, you, you, are, you are recording this? Yes. Okay, awesome. So, um, do you have, uh, do you, do you have a warrant? I don't need a warrant. You do need a warrant. No, I don't. You absolutely do. Probable cause was seen when your dark window. There's no probable cause. There is, Traffic, your do you have the right, the God given right your to travel? You do, don't. You, do, 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 do. you got the God given right to travel on your highways and byways uninterrupted and unmolested. Okay, first of all, whoever told you the police need a warrant to pull you over for illegal tints and or take you to jail for refusing to identify was either lying to you or leading you down the garden path for shits and giggles. And secondly, the same goes for your assertion that the right to travel includes driving a motor vehicle on a public road, which has never been the case and numerous court rulings disagree with. We're trying to be completely cooperative here, okay? Um, we want your supervisor here. Okay. So, uh, and I'm requesting identification. So, license, registration, proof of insurance. You should invoke your Fifth Amendment rights. That's not how, how this works. How do I do that? Say, just say I'm invoking my That's my fundamental rights. I want my I want my I want my right to I want my attorney. And I, uh, uh, are we free to go? No. There are, there's, so then we're going to consider that we're under custodial arrest. You're under custodial detainment. No, we're under custodial arrest. There's no there's no difference. And so right now we are taking we want our we want our rights read to us. Read us our Miranda rights, please. Now, why am I not surprised that he doesn't know how the Fifth Amendment works, or the difference between a custodial detainment and arrest, or how Miranda rights work, for that matter? Can you read us our Miranda warnings? No, I'm not, because you're not in custody. But it's a, you don't have to be in custody. Yeah, you do. You're either free to go, or you're you not. You do with this, and you keep inserting yourself into this conversation, you can go to jail for obstructing. I, that's, that's not, not that's not even a law, that's not even real. It where is. did you get your law license? Where did you, where did you graduate from? You, you should not. 
Obstruction of justice is not even a law, you say. Well, what's this Scotch mist? Also, cops enforce the law. They do not argue it or interpret it on the side of the road. So they don't need a law license. Plus, you're not really in a position to question anyone on their knowledge of the law when you can't even grasp the basics. Window tents, window tents, my ass. No, you cannot be punished for invoking your rights. I completely agree. You should never be punished for invoking your rights. The problem with you is you're trying to invoke rights that either don't exist or don't apply to the situation. This is likely to get the driver, who you appear to have an enormous amount of control over, arrested. You can you can identify verbal, if if it since we're under custodial arrest, you can identify verbally. It's also a crime to drive a vehicle, not to drive the driver's license. It is not. Not. It's not. So you're saying that you're saying that the, the, the statutes, that, you're saying the codes and statutes are superseded. That, that is not true. You, you you saying that so you're saying your code supersedes you're saying your code supersedes the the the, the Supreme Court and the U.S. Constitution? You don't even know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. No, mate, this cop could not be more right. You are talking complete nonsense. Get someone to explain the Tenth Amendment to you. Also, not one of these cases support your claim. I'll use Chicago Motor Coach Company versus Chicago, one of the cases you've highlighted as an example. First of all, this quote here doesn't even appear in the decision, so you've exposed yourself there. And two, this is a Supreme Court of Illinois decision, and you're in Tennessee. <laughs> Do you see where I'm heading with this? And finally, I know this is a long shot, but maybe you could just read the case yourself instead of relying on other people to do your research for you. It might save you from making a fool of yourself on the internet. Who knows? You have the right to drive on the highways and the byways. He's making the stop way more difficult than what it needs to be. No, you guys are fucking with us and we're sick of it. You're fucking with us and we're sick of it. No, she's not. That's bullshit. You ain't getting, nobody's getting out of the truck. We want your supervisor. Here, now. And what's your name? And badge number. It's Officer Jones, 209. What's your, what's your name? 213. All right. Can I give you my license number? What's your name? You don't have to identify. I don't have to? No. Okay, that's a load of... We want your supervisor here now. Okay, he's pulling up. But he's going to tell you the exact same thing we're he's doing. He's not. Our, our senior officer is right outside. You have to have, you have to be uh, operating in commercial capacity for you to pull us over. The, the driver's you're license driving, is, no, that's bullshit. That does not mean anything. Yes, it does. You it does. <laughs> Dude, you, dude, Tennessee State Driver's License to be able You do not. Licenses are only for people that, that are uh, licenses. You, you don't, you've never read the Constitution. Yes, I have read the Constitution. Then why, then why are we having such a problem here? Why are you, you're the one that's causing the problem. This is getting, we're streaming to YouTube right now, so that's cool. Dude, everyone records or streams their ignorance to YouTube nowadays. Plus, the police have body and dash cams that pick up every part of the interaction, which is then posted to the internet. So, that's not really the threat you think it is. And so, you're telling me that that no, I'm telling you, you I'm requesting well, identification from her. The so, driver. so yeah. you and, and we and we identified that we uh, were not. Hey, hey, buddy. So we were, we were, we've informed the officers here that we were not operating a commercial capacity. We were not um, transportation, and we were not um, uh, operating in commerce. Um, I'm 
She's not required. Okay. Well, yes, she is, and it's your erratic behaviour that is forcing them to use Pennsylvania versus MIMS, a real Supreme Court case that ruled law enforcement can order the driver to exit the vehicle for their own safety. But you could have avoided all this and maybe gotten away with a warning or a fix-it ticket had you not opened your big mouth and stuck your foot right in. So well done. Also, I would say she's a lot safer out of the vehicle than if she was in it to get away from your controlling and dangerous propaganda. Well, I mean, do, do you, I mean, you do, you do know the Constitution, you do know the Supreme Court victory. I, I, you can get out under, you can, you can get out under uh, distress and chorus soon. Huh? Yeah. Don't, don't say, don't do it. You, hey, they're trying to make her step out of the car. Can you're I, give, you're can gonna I allow give you this? my license number? You're going to allow this? All right, all right. Can you I guys, give you my license number? She, 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 she can, she can verbally, she can, she can, she, yeah, she can verbally identify. If you guys, what, what's your name and badge owner? Chevy Hush. All right, and you're the supervisor. 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 No, 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 that's not the supervisor. He's not the supervisor. We want the supervisor here. We want the supervisor here. Do, babe. Hey, 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 go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it wasn't a traffic stop. Hey, honey. Hey. Hey. Under, 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 under. Uh, and you're only doing so under threat of coercion. Okay. Uh, you guys are being tyrants right now. Hey, you gotta, you gotta hear about this, boy. Dude, you're not really in a position to call anyone, least of all these cops, tyrants when you're the one exhibiting tyrant-like behaviour over the driver, so much so that they had to split you both up to resolve a minor traffic violation. He worked for us. Okay. We are the people. <coughs> you're exactly right. We are the people. You're exactly right. And you, what you're doing right now is fucking bullshit. Okay. Fucking, fucking tinted window. My ass. Who understood it? What did you fucking do, man? You don't have the right to pull anybody over for unless it was a, unless we're operating commerce. <laughs> this is all going to be reported. <laughs> I'm recording every single bit of this. He's in two cost us right now. Okay. You should not take an oath to defend something you've never read. Okay. That's why there's a justice system. And this is not justice. You, 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 you do not know justice. You don't know. You don't. You don't. You don't. Do me a favor, man. When you get done with this stop, yeah. go back and look it up and see if what I'm saying is the truth. Well, first of all, you wouldn't know the truth if it came and bit you on the ass and held on for the rest of your life. And secondly, all you do is regurgitate misinformation from a sovereign citizen website. So it's a bit rich of you to accuse others of not doing their due diligence regarding the Constitution. Apologize to me when no. you find out? Huh? No. You won't apologize to me? Because I know that window tints are probable cause to stop somebody. Okay, that is that's, that's that is not a law. It is. No, it's not. Okay. It's, it is a code. It is is a statutory it is not it does not supersede the law of the land of your common law jurisdiction do you know what common law jurisdiction is sir i don't i don't know if you think you know what you're talking about i know exactly what i'm talking okay. about the sad just, thing is that you don't and you're out here policing our streets i think we'll agree to disagree on that no we're not we can't i think we will though uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna find out that i'm a I'm hundred million percent right okay. as soon as i as soon as i take this a step further all right if you're right, then you're right. I am right. Statutes and codes, you tell me, statutes and codes supersede the Supreme Court law and the, and the Constitution of the United States. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. Did you even say, did you even think that is a, it scares the shit out of me that you're on the streets policing people? Okay. All right. Likewise, it scares the shit out of everyone else that you think statutes and codes are not the law. 
Also, the control you exert over the female driver is worrying. Compared to that, these cops have been pussycats. You don't need a license to drive. You do. You do not. Okay. It's a privilege. It is not a privilege. It's your God-given right. No. It's It actually says it's not a privilege. It says it's your God-given right under the common law jurisdiction. Okay. You have the right to travel being a horse drawn buggy or, or a motor vehicle. And, and, and there is nobody that needs a license except for somebody operating in commerce. Okay. You're telling me that it doesn't say that? I'm not opposing anything you're saying. I'm just saying that you do you and uh, we're going to do us. But you're, but you're being a tyrant. Or you're, you don't even know the law. That's your opinion. It's not my opinion. It's a goddamn fact. And like with the truth, you wouldn't know a goddamn fact if it came up and bit you on the ass and held on to you for the rest of your life. If your version of the law was correct, why does each state issue both a commercial and non-commercial driver's license? Truth and facts seem to be whatever is convenient to you on any given day, I think. Where's your supervisor? I have a senior officer who I don't supervise on duty right now. Well, somebody better get somebody. Uh, you, you feel free to file a complaint. Oh, I'm going to file a complaint. But there's no supervisors coming uh, out. I'll just go ahead and add. I'll just go ahead and add this in the lawsuit. Okay. No, you're not. You don't have consent to do so. I just talked to the driver. All right. It's not your vehicle, is it? Okay. You're gonna be famous. Oh, okay. God, save that fucking horse shit, man. You were a bunch of tyrants. Sorry, mate, this is all on you, not the police. Your irrational behaviour made it impossible for the police to perform the traffic stop, so they did what they had to do. This was a five to ten minute stop, tops. Also, if this lady is sick, how dare you put her through this ordeal? Shame on you for blaming other people for your own poor life choices. How do you supervise if I don't have one on duty? <laughs> that's not my problem, man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, it's, 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 you, guys, it's, uh, you guys aren't set up uh, uh, appropriately. Okay. Well, um, we're not required by law to provide you a supervisor. You are. Which law would that be? Huh? Which law would that be? That you're a public servant and you have to you have to provide your supervisor upon request. It's the same as your as, as you got an ID. I don't have to ID. Okay. Okay. So that's a no then. I mean, he wanted the law, not an explanation of what you think the law should be. That's not how that works. But there is a reason why he couldn't provide one. It's because that law doesn't exist. A bit like his brain. There's no law because I have to identify myself either. That's my department you're, policy. Your name and your badge number, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you work for us. You okay? You, you, we the people. Yeah. You ever heard of that? Oh, I, I, I've served to defend it. So. I, I, I can't tell. Okay. You don't know the Constitution. Well, I've swore the oath twice, so. It's so it, you, you ought to be, you ought to be arrested for that. Uh, arrest me. I can make a citizen's arrest. Of course he doesn't understand how a citizen's arrest works. Well, if he's anything, he's consistent, I guess. But please don't let that stop you from trying, because we are really long overdue for a soft-sit Mr. Sparky meet-up. For you to stop and accost us after we, we have been uh, already identified as not traveling in commerce, you are committing a, a felony. As a matter of fact, you're committing a felony for using your emergency lights to pull me over for a non-emergency. Is that right? Absolutely right. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to issue a citation for the window tent and insurance, okay? Because you failed to provide any insurance, all right? So, you can provide that copy of insurance in the, in, uh, the city court. And if you have insurance at the time of the traffic stop, it gets dismissed. Also, like I said, the window tent uh, is we'll going to be above 35%, okay? Um, okay. you sign right there. Okay. Not saying that you're uh, anything, just saying that you're aware of the court date okay. on March 6, 2024, in the Green City Court. Uh, City court. Okay. So, what if, what if I don't sign it? Uh, if you don't sign it, you'll be going to jail.
Fine, sign it. I'll put it under, uh, put it under uh, uh, distress and uh, coercion. Sir, how about she makes her own decision? Uh, because I'm her legal counsel. It's against the law for you to obstruct a uh, legal work from being heard, so. <laughs> you're so you want to go to jail, I keep all the on it. You're full of crap. Okay. Okay, first of all, thank you for finally calling out his manipulative and controlling behaviour towards the driver. He's too stupid to realise the significance of what you said, but thanks all the same. And secondly, with legal advice like yours, who needs enemies? But just look up the right to travel whenever right. you get in your car. And then you come out and give me an apology. You don't have a right to travel. It's a privilege. It's not a privilege. It's a God-given right in the common law jurisdiction. So how about this? This is not... jurisdiction. Agree with our it's not... You don't even know what jurisdiction means. Holy shit, you're dumb. So, like, whenever... Um, you can take it off. You can take it off yourself or you can go to a tent shop and they can do it. You should the Greenbrier jurisdiction. You are something else. I can't believe you said that. My coffee is your coffee. Green coffee is also going to be your coffee, okay? Have a great night. Just get those things fixed somewhere, okay? Yes, sir. And of course he ends the video with a screenshot of the supremacy clause which is even more evidence as if you needed it that he doesn't understand how federal and state laws or the constitution works. He was lucky that he didn't get himself or the driver arrested but there's always a next time, especially with guys like this. Anyway, I urge this lady to get as far away as she can from this train wreck before he gets her into serious trouble. Right, thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. I really appreciate it. And if you would like to support my work and get early access to videos like this, then the links to do all that are in the description. Right, take care all and I will catch up with you in the next video.